be awesome if you stay tuned to the channel and follow along watch the build and the changes to my new to me harley davidson which we're going to go over here in a minute and uh kind of do a little walk around video of what this motorcycle is looking like currently as we just bought it now i'm not completely new to motorcycles i have had motorcycles in the past um, this is by far probably the largest motorcycle i've ever owned um, but here's one that we just had not long ago that we traded in to get this bad boy right here yep we traded in a metric bike i had a yamaha midnight warrior um, that bike was pretty fun uh fairly light for its size it was a 102 motor and uh it screamed it was definitely a screamer um, but no comparison to the harley when i test drove this bike i fell in love with it the ride quality of the street glide is uh man it, it's like riding a pillow that's what i keep telling everybody and my friends that has not ridden one yet so this is my new to me 2020 harley davidson street glide um, I bought the bike exactly like you see it right now from a local Harley Davidson dealer. Um, the bike does have a pretty fair amount of mods already done to it, um, as you can see. And uh, in future videos, we're going to kind of go over these mods, do some uh, exhaust sounds, flybys, all kinds of stuff. Uh, but as you can see, it's got the Reinhardt Racing air intake system on it um absolutely awesome really really love the way that air intake system looks on this bike um so that was that was one reason i picked it up um the other thing going on is it has the true dual exhaust reinhardt exhaust um in the black obviously and we currently are race uh we are currently running the reinhardt racing baffles that we changed out not long ago and uh great exhaust it's not overly loud it looks great it sounds good um exhaust sounds really really good when you're riding down the road uh, even with a half helmet it's not screaming in your ear it's very comfortable you can hear the radio just fine. Uh, it's the perfect perfect amount of exhaust. Um, only thing we're kind of missing with the exhaust is the cam. Uh, that's one thing I want to do here soon on this bike is put some sort of a cam in it. Um, get it sounding a little more choppy. Uh, that is definitely what definitely in the plans here soon in the future. Um, also most probably already know but this is a 2020 uh this is a 107 milwaukee 8 motor uh as far as i know it's pretty much all stock except for the air intake system the exhaust um it's probably been tuned a little bit because there is a little there is a programmer under the seat that i noticed um other than that as far as i know everything's stock you know i don't believe it's canned it sounds pretty mellow still uh, we still got factory headlight in there, factory bulbs on top of that. That's something we're going to change here soon. Just upgraded those, got rid of the, the yellow lenses, and changed it out for a Harley kit to get the LEDs. Uh, this was already installed. It does have the Clockworks, uh, I believe that's the 4 or 5 inch window. Um, that was already installed on the bike, and it also had the upgraded handlebars. Uh, in black installed also on the bike um, the bike it, it was really hard to pass up you know th this thing has uh, it's got 20,000 miles on it it looks absolutely brand new as you can tell uh, paints in very good shape still um, and it had a handful of mods already done so for the money it was hard for me to pass up on this bike uh, especially being my first harley davidson motorcycle so uh, i felt like this was a great bang for the buck a great bike to start on and uh, just kind of grow into change up the theme maybe you know make it mine so 
a lot's already done that I would have done already. So that was, like I said, that was the biggest reason why I ended up getting this one over a couple other ones that was more along the stock side. But, uh, but yeah, it's a great bike. I got lots of plans for it. Uh, that's for sure. Oh, other thing I forgot to mention, um, previous owner already had, uh, mounted these mirrors. And, uh, first time I've had a bike with the mirrors, what I would call inverted or whatever, however you want to call it. I'm sure there's a term for it, but, uh, mounted on the lower side of the bar instead of up here. And, uh, I will say riding the bike, uh, compared to my other motorcycles that I had before this, I'm definitely loving the fact with the mirrors under the bars. Um, I feel like I can see better. I think it looks a little better on the bike. That's my opinion. Um, if you're going to have mirrors and, uh, yeah um, that was the other thing installed so pretty happy with it oh also previous owner installed some avon grips really nice grips um i love these things it's also got the uh not sure what you really call that thing as i've never really looked them up but i call it like a throttle enhancer i don't know whatever you want to call it guys chime in in the comments down below tell me what it's uh what they actually call that thing i'll look it up here later and find out but um it's definitely nice i've never had one um and riding this thing i put 160 something miles on it last uh last saturday we went riding through the mountains and uh it's very comfortable man you can just kind of sit your palm on there and it's it's literally like having cruise control you know you can lay your hands out here and uh keep on the gas you know so you're not kind of having to squeeze constantly and grip definitely nice i like it um i've seen them on other motorcycles and kind of wondered if that would be worth having or kind of a pain or in the way or whatever but i will definitely give that a thumbs up uh so if you've been thinking about those i recommend it i like it um my hand don't get tired it's it's very nice um yeah that's it guys stock radio still stock speakers as far as i know sounds great i like it so there you go guys that is my first new harley um comment down below what your first harley was um or if you don't even have one and you're wanting to get one comment down below what you got what you want to get or what you're riding now it don't matter a bike's a bike so i think that's going to do it for today guys um again subscribe to the channel we're going to be changing some things we're going to be doing some things. We're going to be doing some uh, riding vlogs and stuff and really getting into the Harley scene. And again, this is my first Harley ever. Never had one before. And uh, I kind of, after getting it, I see what all the hype's about. There's no comparison. That's that's uh, the opinion I have so far. Only having this bike for about a month. Ride quality is awesome. And uh, the Harley scene is just absolutely unreal. And it's endless. It's absolutely endless. So again, don't forget, subscribe to the channel down below. Give the video a thumbs up. Comment down below also what you think of the bike. Um, what, what should I change? What should be the first thing uh, you would do? So ride safe out there, and we'll see you guys on the next one.